In this video, we'll have a closer look at the state of FL Studio Mobile Android development. Most tabs are now working, with some features still to do. Here's the Instrument tab. On the Tracks tab, we have a functioning step sequencer. The velocity editor is working. Audio recording, added from FL Mobile 2 onward, needs to be implemented. Step and piano instrument tracks are working as expected. The keyboard is functional. With zoom and pan. The effects are mostly done with reverb, EQ, Amp, and filter working. Back to the Tracks tab, we can add bars and duplicate them and record. Excuse the rubbish keyboard skills, I'll claim it's because I'm leaning over a camera to film this. On the Tracks tab we can call up the Piano Editor, but it's yet to be completed. Again, I can select bars and duplicate or delete them. Some big to-dos are the Projects tab, as is the Setup tab. We also have FL Mobile working on a number of Android devices and resolutions. Everything from this Nexus 7 to this base model Samsung Galaxy S disposable phone. So how much longer? We've been completing about one tab a month for the last few months. And there's probably three or four tabs worth of features to go. So you can do the math, so we can't be quoted as giving you a release date. Anyhow, Android users, thanks for your patience. We really are interested in getting this out the door. It's just taken quite a bit longer than expected, but we think we're on the home stretch now. Thanks for watching. We'll keep you up to date as we make future progress.